she seems almost regal in repose, sitting upon not a throne but a nest under the cover of a jungle gym. Students at Highfield Junior School have named her Heidi. She just sits down. We get to see a goose in real life. Like, it's not all day you get to see that. Now in the past, geese have nested on the roof of the school here, but this year, workers repaired the roof, and this goose, for whatever reason, decided right here was the perfect place to nest. Staff worked with the community, closing off part of the playground. If the fencing wasn't enough, Heidi marked her nest with the red rope. Now the gander is more direct. In the morning, the, uh, the father goose, the cat, I think it's the gander, he goes over to our playground and he starts chasing people. It just ran after me so hard. So then uh, I, I escaped. Students are turning their encounter with nature into a learning experience. We learned that the first thing geese do in spring is build a nest to lay their eggs and to live in. It's been great because it's first-hand experience that they're having and we've connected it. You can see they're, they're reading fiction and non-fiction information about Canada geese and they've sort of taken it upon themselves. And one of the really cool things about this whole story is that the students have calculated that Heidi's goslings should hatch on Mother's Day. The caretaker told me that it was that she had seen four eggs. We're really expecting the, the eggs to hatch at any time. Okay. And the soon-to-be mother goose can expect even more student kindness. We're going to make Mother's Day cards for Heidi. Debbie Lytle Kwan, CBC News, Toronto. Well, it turns out Heidi's goslings couldn't wait until Mother's Day to hatch. They arrived. Thursday evening, five in total with one egg remaining. But now they will have left their nesting site and should be grazing together.